do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. So here's the second video of this Wii modding tutorial series where I show you how to use a USB hard drive, load your GameCube backups with your modded Nintendo Wii. So there's my Nintendo Wii down there with my USB hard drive. And there's my also my GameCube controller that we're going to use as proof today. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go and navigate to the homebrew channel. Press start. Okay, here we are at the main menu at the homebrew channel. So let's go ahead and let's go to the WAD manager. I'm going to use WAD manager 1.7. If you have a different version, you should be okay. Um, if you don't have this program, go to the more info section. I got a link where you can download it. So let's go ahead and press A to continue. And I'm going to use iOS 249. That's fine. Let's press A to continue. And then we're going to say NAND emulator device disabled. That's fine. Press A to continue. Select the source device, Wii SD slot, press A to continue. Now press down on your Wii mode and let's navigate to the WAD folder. Awesome, here we are. So let's go ahead and install the Rev uh, C Miles WAD file. So install the WAD, press A to continue. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go up and press and install the Dials Miles to 11. Press A to continue. Okay, and let's go ahead and install the DM Booter Forwarder. Press A to continue. Awesome, now we're done, press B, press the home to restart. So now at this point in time, you can either boot the Dials Miles app from the homebrew channel. So let me go to that real quick here. So you could do one of these, or you could do it from the main menu, which is easier. So I'm going to do that from the system menu, so let me show you proof of that working. And then I'll show you proof that, yeah, this does load my GameCube games, and we're going to use the Super Smash Brothers Melee as today's example based upon um, tutorial part number one. So let's go over here, here's the DM booter channel. Press A, press start. All right, we're good to go, awesome. Notice how it automatically recognized my Super Smash Brothers Melee ISO disc. So you can go ahead and play around with the settings if you want. So let me go down here, select my GameCube controller. All right, let's go up here, let's navigate, press A, and we're good to go. Hopefully, you should not get a black screen. If you get a black screen, that means you formatted your USB hard drive incorrectly, or you may have incorrectly uh, ripped your uh, GameCube game. So let's go ahead, enable progressive scan display, that's fine. Let's go through some of these options here, show you proof, and show you some, uh, you know, how well the performance is. So anyways, we can clearly see that this works fine, loading GameCube games off a USB hard drive with a modded Nintendo Wii. So that is today's video tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.